All right, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is create this sort of repeatable basic unit for this guy. So if this guy gets repeated this way and that way, it works out until you get to the ends, and then we can fix those. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, basically, I've set this guy up so um, you can control the length and the depth and also the height of the box. So um, if you go into the parameters, you could go in and say 5,000 and apply, and that guy will shrink, right? So I could do 5,000 and apply, and it'll sort of shrink up. Um, you were at 6,000, and 6,000, okay. Um, so we're going to set that up first, um, and then we'll um, extrude the what we're going to use. We're going to create a, two planes, one here, one here, uh, one here, and one here. Um, and then we're going to use those uh, to create the uh, um, framework. So we'll do that. All right. So go ahead and close this guy up. And let me close these guys. And so I'm going to do the same thing we've been doing, new family, um, generic model adaptive. All right. And All right, so I'll go to my reference level, and I'm going to make some reference planes. So I'm typing RP, or you can go to create, and there's a reference plane here. But um, we need one, two, three, four. All right, and then let's create an aligned dimension, and one, two. And equal those out, right? Um, and then I'll create a reference line here. Oops, not a reference line, sorry, a reference plane. Here and here. And I'll create a line, equal this guy out. Okay. And then I'll put an overall dimension here and an overall dimension here. And we'll put parameters on this, so this guy will be um, box width or length, depends on what you want. And this one will be box depth, right? And then um, we'll go to the front elevation and I'll do a reference plane here and here and create a line dimension that goes from here to here to here. And we'll equal that out and then another overall dimension that will control the height. We may or may not need this one, but we'll put it in anyway. Box. Right. Okay. Okay. So now we've got that set up. Um, now what I want to do is I want to go to my reference level, and um, if you remember the other one, it has the two sides, right? And so I'm going to draw a reference line that locks to those um, reference planes that I made, and then extrude it up to make two planes. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here and go to reference line, right? And if I come in and start at this intersection, and left click and left click and left click. It's actually drawing on the reference level, right? So that's the basic level. And I've now got this, these two reference lines in here. And I want to go ahead and, and let's flex the, um, we'll change this to maybe 500. Oops, maybe 5,000. Can't remember what you guys had it at. Or maybe 3,000, let's do. All right, so there's 3,000, and then the box height would be 6,000, and this would be 6,000. Right, so you can see that those lines are updating, and that's what I want. 
And then I can go to uh, a 3D view. I can pick those lines and I can actually go to create form and it will adjust those. Now I can pick this guy and work with adjusting it up, like locking it, but there's also a positive offset that I have access to here and I can just associate it with that box height, right? So if I go to box height, now that is associated with that box height. Um, and you can see all of this stuff sort of happening um, as we're working on it. So um, the next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to create um, a couple of planes on the, well, I guess we could do that later, although it'll get a little bit confusing. Let's go ahead and do it now. Um, if I go to my front view, I have this guy, which I'm going to click to name that reference plane. I'll name it top. Right. And what I'm going to do is create two planes that are going to become the floors. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. Um, or actually, let's stop here and I'll come back and we'll create the floors and then the, um, the walls.